Hi YouTube, I'm Terry Nutt 86 here. Um, today I've come out to uh, a new woodland. Um, it's part of an old quarry from the 1940s on the outskirts of the town where I live. Um, and I've come in search of finding some fatwood. Um, I've never been looking for fatwood before, um, but I've seen loads of videos. Um, and most recently Funky's video with the fatwood. So kind of thought, do you know what? I need to find it. It's a, it's a natural source of a fuel for fire. It smells lovely and it's another string to my bow so um, you know rather than relying on other methods of helping get your fire started I thought I'll try and uh, try and source some fatwood so what I'll do I'll turn the camera around and you'll see that I'm on a just a small path through the quarry and it's absolutely loaded with pine trees so hopefully I should be able to find some um, I should be able to find some fatwood with any luck um, I don't know if you can see that, some really, really big pine trees. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on pause and I'll come back to you when I, uh, when I go, get a bit closer to the tree. Hi YouTube, so I've um, been walking around this, uh, this quarry for about 30 minutes and I've, uh, I've had, a, had a close look at many, many pine trees. And the honest answer is, I don't think I know what I'm looking for properly. Um, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I've managed to source so far. Um, only three bits, but... The uh, fatwood does last for quite some time, um, and I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but you can see it's very, very resinous. Um, this was off a dead, um, a dead branch, and all I did was uh, cut one side off, so you can see this side is very, very um, dark and orange, um, whereas the side that was um, the newest part of the tree doesn't have much resin in it at all. So I'll batten that down um, a bit later, but. It's definitely fatwood because you can smell it. Same with this, not so much, but there's a uh, there's lots of resin in it. Um, one thing I will say is I'm definitely going to have to do a bit more research because I don't want to be cutting down trees or even tampering with any trees um, if I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, all these branches were were basically dead um, and they were just starting to re re spurt and regrow. So um, that's why I haven't gone trigger happy. Um, I'm going to carry on having a look around around the quarry. Um, I'm not going to be spending all day here because I've got a few um, other errands to run at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll have another play around. There's a I've spotted some birch bark, so I'll be um, adding some birch bark to my tinder box. But uh, for the time being, um, that's kind of my uh, fatwood search. Only a very very short video today. Um, I will try and do another part in a second um, if I find anything. But if not, if any of you guys can send me any links or Anyone that's uh, clued up on uh, on the tr on trees and, and fatwood, because um, I'm not, and I have no qualms in saying that. Um, hopefully, we'll be back soon. If not, uh, see you in the next one. Hi YouTube. So um, I'm back from the uh, the quarry in the woodland, um, and I've battened the fatwood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out and see um, how effective the fatwood that I've got is. Um, I'll turn the camera around. I'll show you what we're going to do. So um, I've battened fatwood some of it's more successful than others um, some of it is very very resinous some of it's not so much just got my little stove uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea uh, knife I've went and got some wood for the fire just from the woodland my little tinder box with some um, with some birch bark in and uh, yeah what I'll do is I'll, I'll do some shavings and I'll be back in a second so what I've done you'll see is I've put some birch bark in there and I've managed to put some shavings of fatwood um, and I've used the jack claw from Funky um, great bit of kit and I, I will say to Funky I haven't not done a video on purpose um, it's just very difficult to actually film it in use um, as I'm filming myself because as you well well aware I not often go up by myself so um, I am waiting for a partner in crime to come with me so I can do a full uh, review on this it's a great bit of kit and it went through that wood that fat wood like a like a hot knife through butter so like I say um, birch bark some fo uh, some fat wood shavings um, I'm tempted to put a couple of big bits of fatwood in just to see if I can get it going but what I'll do is um, I will get the fire still out um, unfortunately because I'm filming this in one hand you won't be able to get to see uh, see me do it and um, I do need to invest in a tripod or something but uh, such is life um, but yeah what I'll do is I'll put it on pause and um, we'll see how successful it is well I used the fire still didn't get it first time but got the uh, 
had to add a few more um, fatwoods uh, shavings in, but you can see my fire's going uh, going well. Um, I'm sure a lot of the bushcraft guys know this is just an old um, biscuit tin or coffee pot um, from Ikea. Uh, one of my friends uh, gave this to me. Um, they drilled out all the holes, they made a gap there. And once this fire's died down, a couple of tent pegs through the gap, it leaves me. Put my uh, little pot on there, fill it up, and I'm going to have a nice little brew. So, what I will say, guys, is um, I was a bit disheartened earlier because of the fact I don't think the fat wood search went very well, but it's worked a treat. Um, it's yeah, it's worked really, really well, um, and I'm, I'm over the moon. So, um, I'm going to sit here. It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. Granted, I'm in my back garden now, but uh, hey, it's one of those things. I've had a nice trip out, so. Yeah, gonna have a nice cup of tea. Um, that's me, Hunterian 1986. Stay safe, take care.